let's practice some data validation. So here we have this file 1.3c and we have some discount amounts. A discount of zero means regular price, a discount of 0.1 means 10% off, and a discount of uh, 0.20 would be 20% off. We want to limit, our challenge is to limit uh, the maximum discount. We want to say maximum 20% discount is allowed. How do we do that? Well, we could highlight a range of cells and scroll all the way to the bottom. But the nice thing is that even though we have a nice heading here, it's okay to set the entire column, the entire column all the way down to hundreds, hundreds of cells. We're going to actually select column C and apply this data validation to the entire column. We're going to go to the data tab and go to data validation and click on data validation. And once we do that, we can change the any value setting to a decimal number. We're expecting a decimal number between, so here we can choose some other settings as well, but for now we'll focus on between minimum value of zero and a maximum value of 0 0.20, which is 20%. I'm gonna click on okay. So when we click on okay, now when I try to change this value from 0 0.00 to 0 0.30, 30% off, and when I press enter, we get an error message. It says here, the value you entered is not valid. A user has restricted values that can be entered into the cell. So we can retry and try to type in a smaller value such as 0 0.05, 5% off, and that's valid. So 0.3, you can see again, we can retry or even cancel. Can we customize this pop-up box even more? And the answer is yes, we can. So let's go to the, uh, let's highlight column C and let's uh, try playing around with these settings here. Go to data val validation. And what we have here is we can clear all the previously applied things. So here now we have no rules set up. We can change it. For example, decimal number, we'll just say the minimum is zero. And this time we'll say the maximum is 0 0.50, which is 50% off. That's a much better deal. And we're going to change the input message or we can also play with the error alert. So the input me message would be, I'm going to say input, input messages Please enter a discount between 0 and 50. So the error alert message would be title error error error. We'll say it three times. And error message would be epic fail. All right, probably not the most professional word, but let's try to see what happens. Click OK. And you can see right away we have a little pop-up box here that says input. Please enter a discount between 0 and 50. So when I click away from it, there's no message. But as I actually go near it, it's almost like a little comment box that pops up. It's giving me a little hint. So that's what that's about. Now when I actually type in some big discount like 40%, that's fine. We change the setting to 50%. So now let's try type in 75% off. Wow, I wish. Enter. And then our own custom error, 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 epic fail message comes up. So we can always retry and change it to something more reasonable, such as 25%. So the nice thing about data validation is that you can customize all the messages and you could prevent users from typing in some impossible or illegal input. This minimizes human error and it is true that humans make lots of mistakes. And the nice thing about data validation is that it's easy to find. You want to apply data validation, it's within the data tab, data, data validation.